All right, so I think that this is a big issue with the Spurs right now. Well, I don't think. This is definitely an issue with the Spurs. Everyone knows this is an issue with the Spurs. This right here, my guy. My guy. My God. OMG. All right, so let's take a look at this. We'll bring it up in a different tab. So what this is showing is your net rating from quarter one, quarter two, quarter three, quarter four. And this looks oh so familiar from last season. I mean, it, it's the same. It, it's the same thing. All right, so as we can see, the San Antonio Spurs are kind of awful. Um, and they are dead last in third quarter net rating. And not only are they dead last, it's a substantial gap between them and the next uh, to worst. So the next to worst are the Washington Wizards, negative 16. The Spurs are a whopping negative 27.8. They are god awful in the third quarter. And I think what's going on, and after even talking to my boy Swish Hill, we, we kind of we talk about this stuff all, all the time. What's going on is instead of the Spurs coming into the third quarter and attacking, because I initially thought, okay, maybe it's the lack of effort coming into the third quarter. I think what it really is, and this is what happens with young teams as well, is that they're more so on their on their heels. They're trying their best to hold the league lead rather than take the game. It's like, well, you're trying to hold, you just hold on to it. It's, you try, they're overthinking, trying not to mess up to the point where they mess up. They, they're not playing the same way as they did in the first half. All the, all the attacking, all the trying your best to get Wimby involved. Everything that they did well in the first half of every single game, they change it up in the second half. And it's only so much you can say. It's only so much you can do. So isn't that coaching? No, it's every young team. Every young team goes through that. That's a that's just a young team problem, honestly. It's not, and it's not a matter of is Pop responsible for anything. It's like no, like Pop can be responsible for some things, sure, but at the same time, we can't ignore the fact that the San Antonio Spurs are the youngest team in the NBA. We've went against teams like this before, by the way. When we were when we were winning all those games, when Popovich was winning all those games, and we actually had players that were not only veterans but knew how to win they were already in that that you know stage of development they knew how to win when we had that we would go against teams and this would happen that yeah they might have us in the first half and then we destroy them in the in the second and it was these young teams that just they just try to hold the league as, be, as best they possibly can that's that's usually that's usually how that goes it's just that now we're experiencing it and it really sucks and it really stings because we do have a generational talent. And I think a lot of people had the assumption that you get Wimby and now we have a Tim Duncan type run. And that's just not what's going on. It's just not what's going on. Clan, seriously, what's bad to you? This is bad. This is terrible. The Spurs, what the Spurs need to do is after December 15th, my big issue is this, okay? My big issue is every single person after a loss, the, the initial reaction is trade him, trade him, trade him, trade him. Fire him, fire him, fire him, fire him. And it's like, okay, Coach Pop would be the one that, yeah, I probably wouldn't touch, okay? There's no other coach in the league that I would rather have than Pop right now. Like, I, I, I don't care what anyone says about that. You can have your opinion. I, I don't, I disagree wholeheartedly. But... I will say this. There's kind of nothing the Spurs can do. They've been making adjustments. There's nothing you can do when you miss as many shots as they miss, when you make as many mistakes, because it's always something. It's like, oh, now they're making a mistake here. Now they're making a mistake. Here. It's always something. There's only so much you can do there. But with that being said, I also think that uh, the Spurs do need to make a trade, but you can't do anything yet because half the league can't be traded until the 15th. I think the Spurs will do something. I think our front office will do something, but there's nothing you can do right now. That's where I get irritated. That's where it's like when everyone say, this needs to happen right now. How many trades have you been seeing thus far? Like seriously, how many trades have you been seeing play, play uh, uh, teams do thus far? There's none. They're not making trades. Why? Because half the league can't be traded yet. So what's the point? Oh, thanks, Brian. Uh, let me put you down because I don't think you were already in the giveaway. I'm going to put you down.
Well, not the giveaway, but the. And anybody that sent it through Cash App or um, or PayPal will will take a look at that too. But yeah, it's just like right now. I just, I just, I don't know, guys. See, this is what I'm saying. See, I don't know. I don't know if you're being serious or not. But this is what I'm saying. The GM RC Buford has to be fired. What? What? If you're serious, what? He was rated. He was rated like top three GM in the entire NBA. Not that long ago. Make sure I'm not crazy here. Yeah. Yahoo Sports, top 10 executives in the NBA. They, ra they rated them top three. This is what I'm saying. Like we have, we have great, we have great coaching, not just pop. We have great coaching all the way around. We have a great front office. The only problem is this is the youngest team in the NBA. And initially, see, this is what I'm saying. Now you're getting outside of stuff. Pop is a narcissist. You know what I'm saying? Like now, now we're in other things. Okay. Now you're diagnosing Popovich. I have no idea what you're talking about. Pop, pop is doing fine. Whatever. Who, who cares? I don't, I don't know. Who cares about any of that? Um, but I just think right now, that's what we're seeing. We're seeing a young team. We're seeing a team that's just not accustomed to uh, 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 having those fundamentals in them right now. And also another thing with the Spurs is you got to keep in mind that this season in particular is definitely a, hey, let's kind of see what we got as well. Because a lot of the players that we drafted, these are players that could play on almost any team, almost in any system, right? Like Jeremy Sohan, he could play anywhere. He's that type of guy. So that's kind of a safe bet. Uh, Devin Fasale, same way. He can play in almost any system. It's a safe bet. The worst case scenario, dude, is like a, a six man. Uh, Graham is gone. That's what I'm saying. That That's probably... Now Now we're talking, okay? Dark. Dark. My, my friend. My boy. Now we're talking, all right? Now, now, we're, now we're talking about things that make a little bit more sense. When you start saying, let's get rid of the most winningest coach of all time because there's a bad season, I, I don't... I don't... I'm not... I, I can't subscribe to that, Okay especially when the team is so young. Now, if they were a veteran team or we're three, four years into Wimby's career, I'm with you. I'm with you, but I, I can't get there, okay? Our, our best player is a 19-year-old. I, I can't, I can't, I can't jump to that. But when you say somebody like Graham, who the Spurs aren't using, who other teams could definitely use and you can get some value out of a trade there, I'm with that. That's why I'm with you. That's why I'm with you. I think that that's a a very a, a very smart logical uh, thing you can do. I think the Spurs can go ahead and get them at this point. You and I'm not saying like you get a point guard and they just run it the entire time or you know they just take over the team and they uh, we just get on their back kind of like what Van Vliet is helping with the Rockets with. It's like I'm not saying we do that, but we do need somebody to come in that kind of reel this thing in a little bit, you know. Cause it's certain times where when you don't when you don't have anybody to reel it in, it's just chaos in the second half, where it's like mistake after mistake after mistake after mistake, and I don't necessarily think that Trey Jones is is to that standard where he could just hold things together. He and I loved him in this game by the way. His defense was phenomenal, but I mean he even missed a couple free throws. He was part of he was part of the he was part of the plague that we had as far as shooting tonight. You know, that's all I'm saying. That's all I'm saying. Losing is frustrating. I'm not happy. It's not like I was chilling watching this game, by the way. It's not like I was sitting back and I was like, this is OK. Like like the meme with the, the dog and the fire, everything. You know, he's like, this is OK. I wasn't. I, I was I was physically upset, but I'm not going to sit there and just be like, Whew, because I feel this way and my feelings are taking over. It's time to just clean house. No, dude. No, it's not time to clean house. I'm not to that point yet. Let's relax. Let's relax. <clears throat> now, Brian Wright needs to be fired. See, it's like nobody even, it's like I'm just talking to a wall. I'm just talking to a wall. Mikasa, I'm looking at my cat right now. I'm just talking to a wall. They're not listening to me. I mean, these people aren't, they're not listening to me. They didn't hear a word I said. We just, we just brought up an article on how he's rated a top three GM and they don't care. They just get rid of everybody.
You're making excuses. Just just get rid of everybody. It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter what you say. It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. It's not an excuse. It might be a reason. It's not an excuse. It's not okay. But you don't jump to get rid of everybody. That, that I don't I don't get that one. I I'm sorry, just I just can't get with that. I just I just I, ju I just can't jump on fire pop. I ju I just it's just something about that that just seems wrong, right? I don't know. It it might it might have something to do with him being the greatest coach of all time. It might have some maybe maybe the fact that every single player basically loves him. And even the players that hate him, they still say Pop was the greatest coach to ever coach me. It's it's it might be that. It might be that. I'm not saying fire pop, but he needs to step down. It might just not be okay. That that might just rub me the wrong way, okay? Just just a little bit. Just a little bit. Just a little bit. But yeah, you just, just something just seems off about that. Phil Jackson? Yes, hire Phil Jackson. He's available, right? It's just just hire Phil Jackson. Just God. I will say this though, once Popovich does retire, um, I really want Becky to come to the NBA. <laughs> I really want Becky Hammond, guys. I want Becky Hammond to come. That would be so great. Because by that time, she'd get tired of championships, right? By that time, she'll have at least five championships on her belt. And she'd get tired of it, right? And then she'll want to win one in the NBA. First coach to ever do that. Oh, gosh. But, yeah. Yeah. Good stuff. Fire the Alamo. Someone said fire clan's cat. That's funny. It's frustrating. Becky, honey. Yeah, Becky. I take Becky. Yeah, yeah, yeah. There's, there's nobody. That's, there's no, like, special replacement for Popovich, guys. Popovich is still a good coach. Don't let the losses get in the middle of that. Pay attention to what players have say, said. Pay attention to what players are saying. Pay attention to, uh, shoot, just pay attention to our star player. Let's just go based off what he's saying. Let's go based off what he does. Messina. Oh, yeah, Messina would be great, too. Messina would be great. I used to talk to his um, his son. I used to DM his son back around the Kawhi drama days. His son's really cool. He was really cool. He messaged me with a lot of stuff back then. That was cool. Steve Kerr. Steve Kerr would be cool, too. You could be cool. Yeah, Steve Kerr be cool. None of those vets ever wanted to play for Pop. What are you talking about? What vets, dude? The Spurs had a, a plethora of vets come through uh, San Antonio. I mean, unless you're talking about straight up trades. No one traded for LA. I'm 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 just gonna I'm gonna leave it there. I don't care. <laughs>